Welcome back to the Hermitcraft FTV server. Here we are out at the Mesa Research Facility where I have spent two very, very painfully long six hour uh, researching sessions working on getting all of this unlocked and turned on. I've gotten quite a bit of it taken care of, but it's been a long, painfully slow process that involves enormous amounts of guesswork and guessing games, which, by the way, I actually hate doing, which is one of the reasons that I really wanted to just kind of power through this research and get it over with so that I could get access to the goodies. Like, for example, I now once again have a wand of lightning, and there's a wand of excavation. I've got an equal trade in here and uh, so on. This hoe of growth is actually something I found in one of those miscraft ages when I was looking around finding chests and such and whatnot. And I've over the course of time brought over quite a bit of materials for the research. Uh, even set up a little bit of a nether wart farm because that was needed for part of it. And of course, as I said, there's still quite a few things left to take care of and I also know that there are several things left to unlock that I don't know what they are yet that don't show up on here because they haven't been unlocked and some hidden research and whatnot that will need to be figured out and dealt with but I did manage to get a fair ways down the road particularly let's see these guys the golem workers a straw golem and I made him up I made up a couple of them actually with the uh, intelligence core and the wooden golems also with intelligence cores well one of them has one of them doesn't but uh, I decided to put this to a little bit of practical use and back here I set up a couple of farm areas and right there is the wood golem and there's another one over there by the nether wart they're each positioned on a chest and when anything falls to the ground around here ah I have got to stop right clicking with those things anyway when anything falls to the ground around here these guys run around, pick it up, and put it in the chest they're assigned to. These guys, the straw ones, they are not strong enough to do any carrying around of anything. They don't move anything around. And they're just smart enough so that when uh, one of these plants reaches full maturity and is ready to harvest, that they'll run over and harvest it and they're just barely smart enough to replant what they harvest and then the uh, wood golems pick up the produce from it and end up putting it in the chest the only thing I have left to do is to integrate those chests into the logistics system and oh in the farms here uh, the water source in the center I've placed lily pad of fertility over those lily pad because it's something that you can walk over without falling into the water see this gun he's harvesting the wood golems go over there to pick up what dropped to the ground put it away it's actually a fairly neat little self-contained system it does its thing and it doesn't need any major amounts of power or supervision or anything like that now we drop down in here and what I need to do is here is to get some deep storage set up so let's go ahead and get to a requester pipe and get some deep storage units four of them should do the trick stuff will go flying down there and it'll come back with 
for deep storage. Here they come. Alright, now I'm going to put two of them up here in this room and the other two are going to go down below because I'm starting to run out of space down here. That's cleared out. Let's take some seeds and some wheat for these two. I right, need logistics chassis pipe and each one of those gets an item sync module and we'll set that request wheat and this one to request seeds and now we need to head down below to get the underside of them put a couple of provider pipes on there I try to keep a stock of most pipes and apparently I don't have any provider pipes okay <laughs> provider logistics pipes four of them Components go flying down there, and things come back in just a minute. It's not super fast like an AE system can be, but frankly, it works for me, and I think it's kind of cool watching the whole th whole process. In fact, what I'm going to do is the whole floor in here. And when I can get to where I can make the stuff, I'm going to put in clear glass in the floor because I think that will look cool. these okay these guys will just provide whatever's in the inventory they're attached to that's good that works all right now a couple of more deep storage units we'll set them up down here and let's see that's more chassis pipes more item sinks there we are two more item sync modules and those two machines can be considered set samples of what's going to go in there so put away the seeds and the wheat we'll get out carrots and cotton because that's the stuff I've been growing down there the cotton is useful because it can be you can craft it nine by nine to uh, come up with wool or you can craft it three across to make string and that's handy alright now I need provider mod provider pipes on here and I'm just gonna do it like that and throw down a force pipe between them And again, they will provide whatever's in the local inventory. 
now alright let me put these extra pipes away that I don't need right at the moment I'm going to need them again but to get all of this cotton out of the system at the moment. Alright, cotton isn't anywhere else in the system, so now it should all go down into deep storage. And while we're at it, let's grab the carrots. wheat and the seeds. Alright, wheat's going in, seeds are going in, very good. And down here we've got cotton and carrots, good part of the job. The next part of it, if I can get myself oriented, here we are. Up here is one of the chests that the golems are putting stuff into. So I need, let's see, a couple of chassis pipes and quick sort modules and some force pipe for bringing this all together. Click that on there and wrench a quick sort module into that. And then just bring some pipe over here. Break that real quick and get out a basic logistics because that's an intersection. We don't need the system getting all confused. Now whatever's in that chest, it's all getting sent over there to go into deep storage. Except for the stuff that got spilled because I broke the pipe. There is another spot down here where the other chest is up above. I already tunneled over to it. Alright chassis pipe, quick sort module, and hook that on. Now everything in that chest is being sent out, and I'm done with that section, so just go ahead and wall that area off. I should never have to go back there again. And now the stuff in the chest up there will get sent down here and I won't have to be concerned about any possible like the chest gets over overly full if I don't happen to be around here to do any inspection or maintenance anytime soon. Now now that this setup is working and it is provided for and hooked into the logi logistic system and whatnot. I'm ready to go with the next step and first up I need to make up two more at least two more of each of these each kind of these guys and we're going to set something up elsewhere and we're going to get started with some B action. Okay I've got some things together I'm back out here at the uh, Mesa Research Facility and let's see, I need to start out, I need some Nitor to start out with. And I have finally remembered that the easiest way to handle making Nitor is two coal and two glowstone each. All right. So we drop a couple of glowstone, a couple of coal, 
coal. Whack it with one. And that gets a nitor. Now I need to refill that. And I need to repeat that procedure a few times because I need one nitor for each animation core. Let's see. Let's see if I can double my money here. Get two at once. Yes, okay, good. cores pop a wand in there to power it and I'd learned something else too that the aspects required for making these guys rubber contains both of them so if I drop four rubber in there, I'll get one of those out of it. So these I have to do one at a time because the wand only holds 50 Vs and it takes 30 to do that. You see, I should refill this thing as soon as I uh, pull the stuff out of there. Yeah. At some point real soon I'll end up having a, a golem worker come along here and have the job of keeping that thing full. again. And there's one more to do. Yeah, that's it for those. Alright, I need some great wood and some straw, wheat, whatever. Okay. Need two of them. Straw variety, let's see. Yeah, okay. I need some slow sand and cooked steak actually it contains just exactly what these things need and that'll get the straw golems there we go I need another one. And then two of the wooden type for picking up things out of and putting them into chests. Alright, I've got together I think most of what I'm gonna need. And the first thing I need to do before I go is I want to set down this uh, item tesseract here. Right here in the corner I think is a good place. I'm going to hook up a basic logistics pipe to it and let's set a frequency for it owner only, send receive and we'll call this frequency 101 it's not quarry output, it's uh, network 
connection. That'll do. Alright. And now, drop over here. Hook this power line up to the energy bridge system. And turn on quarry power. I'm not going to be using the quarry, but I'm going to use its power channel for this. And I believe that's just about everything, so let's head upstairs to the library, to a book heading over to the bees age. Now this is the same age that Hypno was using for his bees, and he said it would be fine, not a problem, if I use the same age for my bees, just move over uh, into an area away from his. And so that's what I'm going to do. So let's see, let's start out we'll pop this energy test rack uh, let me have a look at the chunk borders. Alright, we got a good size area here. I'm going to go ahead and slap the sucker right down here. And the energy tesseract will have to be right down here, too. Well, actually, I should have put down the energy tesseract first. Our energy tesseract, and we've got a logistics power junction here. So that it can... Oops, yeah, let's set this thing to quarry power, receive. Alright, logistics power junction is go good. We've got power for the network. Let's get a basic logistics pipe just to hook it to whatever we're going to do. Yeah. And an item test rack right there. Send receive. Now I have to go back and fix the. Ch I didn't save the dog on channel, but it's 101, and it's not quarry output. It's uh, network connection. Save channel. Select it. Enable. We're good. All right. Now the reason for all of that was, let's get out a chest and a request logistics pipe, and we'll just. I'm just going to pop the chest down right there. No. No. Okay. Give me some force pipe here. Just to move this out away just a little bit. Alright, now. Drop a chest here. A request pipe there. And now, even though I'm not even in the same dimension and these, this is not physically connected to the other network, that item tesseract will allow me request everything and anything that the main system has access to in it. That's great. One of the first things I need is a squeezer. And tank. I'm going to need some iron tank wall. Uh, I don't know how much actually so I'm just going to get like 32 of it. Request successful. Let's get 32 of the uh, tank gauge and a couple of the valves. And the stuff is coming through being manufactured back at the base and sent in, sent through the Tesseract which provides connectivity 
to disconnected parts of the network. And that is freaking awesome. It'll be a little bit before the rest of it comes through. It has to be made. But one of the things I need to set up here is facility for uh, producing seed oil because in all of my travels through Mistcraft Ages and libraries and Thomcraft dungeons and all sorts of things and whatnot, I never found even one beehive. So in order to be able to make a beehive or apiary, excuse me, I need to have impregnated casing and that requires seed oil in a carpenter. And so I need to get a seed oil production facility going here. And let's see. Okay. That should have worked. I know, I should have tested it too. It's coming through now. Let's get about 30 of those. It might be that you really can't go selecting too many things at one time or too close together. I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to do some testing off camera and find out. Alright, we've got what we need for the tank. And let's see, I need the squeezer. To be squeezing seeds to produce seed oil. There we go. Uh, let's see. Got plenty of build craft power coming through here. That thing is almost fully charged, and we've got the full power that was used for the quarry before available otherwise. So I can tap that off of that energy that energy yeah. tesseract as well. All right, I need to get some things together here. Let's see. First up, let's. I'm just going to build a smallish tank. Set it up here. some on me. I think I do. Liquiduct. Alright. And we'll have liquiduct coming out from the bottom. And I'll need to dig down there and throw a lever on that. But that's not going to be an issue right away. Soften gear. Okay. Now we need the squeezer. I'm just going to set it here. We need 
need to run some piping over here. Yeah. Actually, uh, let's see, what kind of pipe do we need? Supplier pipe. Yeah. yeah. One supplier logistics pipe. I'm going to drop it down on top. Get some force pipe and hook it over here to the rest of the extended network. Seeds. Simply because that's going to be easier by far than just simp sitting here and clicking like crazy. Okay. Mouse wheel go the direction I'm aiming. Alright. Maintain a stack of seeds in there at all times. Very good. Now, I just need to run some power over to that, and I'm going to dig down a little bit and do this. I have some energy conduit here. Better, I think, if I ran that down below ground just a little deeper, it will look better that way. this over. Oops, wait a minute. Let's flip the direction on that to an output. This is now running. Beginning to create seed oil. I'll need to be making sure that it's going into the tank, which it's not yet, but that's alright. We'll get there. That's good. There we go. Seed oil headed into the tank. Good. Now over here I can set up Carpenter for manufacturing the uh, the necessary apiary components. Alright. Okay, you said request successful. Where are you at? I can see there might be just a little bit of glitchiness going on here with this uh, interdimensional network connection. Let me try that request again. One carpenter request successful. There it is. Alright, over here with the carpenter. I'm going to need to work up a supply of logs, which I'm probably going to use force logs. I believe that recipe will work. Well, let's get some and find out. Give me a stack of those. 
Slogs. That I don't know. Let's see. I need to get down here and get a, get this thing rigged for output on the tank. power over to the carpenter. Alright, where is my power duct? That recipe works. Excellent. So, let's see. We'll go ahead and set the recipe up. And now we need to bring the network over here. And I know this is sloppy looking. I'm going to, you know, this is just kind of spitballing the design, work out the details, and then I'll work about making it look better later on. Alright. I need a crafting pipe. Logistics. Oh, that's a crafting table. It's not a crafting pipe. It looks like I need to request more crafting pipes. Okay. I know it takes a minute to make those, but this should work. This way I can get this thing making for uh, the impregnated sticks. That's not the one I need. Oh, I will need those, but right now I need these impregnated casings. I'm glad I caught myself with that. Alright, crafting logistics pipes. And I'll go ahead and well, let's get the pipe set up. Import no. So yeah, I need to go ahead and have it make one. Alright, pop eight logs in there. Let it go ahead and make one. And then I can set up the crafting pipe. Alright, eight force logs equals one of those. out of that machine. Not a problem. And what I can do is set up an inventory. Let's see, I've got some chests. Just throw it here. may look kind of scatterbrained, but I actually do have a pretty good idea of what I'm doing here. Alright. Supplier logistics. That should do the trick. Tell this pipe to always keep, say, a stack of these guys in it, in that chest. This takes a bit of right clicking to bring that up to 64. There we go. 
I'll go ahead and throw that one in there. Reconnect this. And that should be sending force logs into this thing. You see the little particle effect there? It's doing something. And there's the logs coming in. Go ahead and throw those in. And it's sending in the necessary required to make 64 of these impregnated casings. It's already made one already. The system is working. This is awesome. It won't be long before I'll be able to start getting me getting some apiaries made and getting some stuff done with the bees. Now this is most of the bees and bee stuff that I collected on my uh, various journeys. I've got some more in the inventory back uh, at the lab, but they're mostly rocky princesses and stuff, which will come in handy as, of their own. So. I'm going to hang around here for a while, babysit this thing, make sure it's looking good, or working good, and figure out a little bit of a way to make it start looking better, which I will work on. And next time out, we'll start actually doing stuff with the bees, now that we're set up for them. Mostly. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.